वेलकम फ्रेंड्स आई एम आर्किटेक्ट सोनू राय फ्रॉम क्लैड स्टूडियो एंड इन दिस टूडे वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू हाउ वी विल प्लेस कॉलम्स इन आवर आर्किटेक्चरल प्रोजेक्ट्स एंड व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन ए आर्किटेक्चरल कॉलम एंड ए स्ट्रक्चरल कॉलम्स इन रेविट सो इन रेविट देयर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ कॉलम्स वन इज स्ट्रक्चरल कॉलम्स एंड अनदर वन इज आर्किटेक्चरल कॉलम्स सो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस one by one what is the difference between these two so i am going to select this column architectural and i am going to select any columns like uh, 18 inch by 18 inch and i am going to my floor plan and i am going to place uh, my columns here so you can see this column architectural column has adapted the material properties of this wall whereas if you will place a structural column it will not adapt the material properties of the wall so this is the difference between a structural columns and architectural column in revit and for my projects i prefer both so i am going to select a structural column and now i am going to select any size so uh, i am going to place this columns here and you can see there is no adaptation of the wall uh, but uh, this uh, architectural column has merged with the wall so i am going to 3d view and now you can see this difference this is our architectural wall and this is our structural Uh, uh, this is sorry this is our architectural column and this is a structural column so this is the difference so uh, now i am going to tell you how we will uh, place our columns at grids so uh, in the last video tutorial i discuss about grids so i am going to uh, my columns and now i am going to select this structural column and i am going to place here so uh, this is one method you can uh, place one by one for a smaller projects but what if you have uh, your projects is uh, very big and you have to place 50 columns and 100 columns simultaneously so it will take lot of time so in revit you can save lot of time so i am going to place columns simultaneously so i am going to my columns structure column and now i will select this one add grids so i will select this add grids and now i will select all these grids and now you can see our columns is placed in every grids so it will save a tremendous amount of time in your projects so uh, this is the preview so i am going to finish this and now you can see column is placed you can go to 3d view and you can see our column is placed so this will save a lot of time and uh, so this is the advantage of using revit so uh, now i am going to again this uh, structure column and now i will select this one add columns creates a structural column inside selected architectural column so if you want to create column inside architectural column you can select this and now you can see it is a bigger in size but no problem so you can see this is merged with our architectural column so this is the use of placing structure column at columns that means it will merge with your architectural columns so uh, so now i am going to discuss slanted columns so i am going to my architecture tab and i am going to select this structural column now you can see this one uh, is vertical column this one is slanted column we were using vertical column so now i am going to select slanted column so uh, i am going to select this uh, structural column and i section so i am going to select this one and now it is asking first click 
so you have to define from which level you are starting the base point so i'm going to select level 1 and say second click i'm going to select level 2 so and you have to uncheck this 3 day snapping and now i'm going to uh, start my first point so i'm going to take this uh, mid one mid of this column and now it is asking enter column end point here this so i'm going to select this end point and now uh, we will check in preview and you can see this is our slanted columns is drawn here so you can keep practicing and you can change the angle wherever you want you can reduce and you can reduce in section elevations view also so this is the basic understanding of the how we will place columns in Revit architecture in the next video tutorial, I will come with some interesting videos. So please like, share and subscribe my channel. Thanks.